Hey everybody and welcome to the video. This is Josh here and today we're making spicy garlic zucchini chips. This was a fun little snack I put together just to have something that's a little bit of a lower calorie option. This is a really great way to add some extra spice and flavor into an otherwise boring snack. Starting off here, we're going to take one zucchini and slice it as thin as absolutely possible. The other big important part here, you want to make sure and get the slices as uniform as you can. Something I'm still working on, some of mine are a little bit thicker or thinner. Just slice them up as thin as you can. Next up, you want to lay them completely flat on a foil lined baking sheet. Make sure to leave enough space for those to have room to cook. If you crowd the pan too much, they will not crisp up. Next, we're going to use our nonstick spray and just spray a really light coating of oil. This is the best way to ensure an even coating without overdoing it on the extra calories. Then we're going to add some salt, pepper, hot paprika, and garlic powder. Once our seasonings are on, we're going to flip this and repeat on the other side. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to bake these for a total of about 20 minutes or until they're completely brown to your liking. Halfway through though we are going to take these out and flip and rotate them. As you'll see some of my thinner slices are just about complete but some of my others still definitely need some more time. I'm just going to put them all back in for now. 10 more minutes has passed and our zucchini chips are done. You want to take these off of the pan and let them sit on a cooling rack. This will ensure that they crisp up as they get to room temperature. But that is it for this recipe. You can swap this out for all sorts of different vegetables, different seasonings. I've actually had my eye on testing this out with some apples to make apple chips. There are just all sorts of options if you've been feeling a little bored by your basic raw vegetable snacks at home. I really hope you give these a try. Ingredient amounts and all other information's up on the blog. Be sure to check out beardedfatloss.com for that. But until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.